Hello, my name is Nancy and today we are going to talk about the top 5 sunscreen, my favorite sunscreen for the year 2023. Well, you might be thinking why sunscreen is already winters, but let me tell you that sun protection is crucial year-round, not just during the summer days, because the sun rays or the UV rays can affect our skin and cause harm to our skin even during the cloudy or the offset days. So if it can affect in those days, why wouldn't it affect during the winters? Now, I know that you would want to know what are the effects of the sun rays on our skin or the UV rays on our skin and how can a good sunscreen protect the UV rays from harming our skin and here are some ways. A good sunscreen gives protection from UV radiation, prevents skin cancer, prevents sunburn, anti-aging benefits, reduction of hyperpigmentation and prevention of skin related issues. <coughs> skin and eyes related issues. So now that we are all clear why do we need them, let's jump into my top 5 sunscreen that are already available in the Indian market. Let's start with the sunstick. In sunstick, we have Dodden Key Strawberry Dew Sunscreen Sunstick. It has a SPF of 50. By the way, all the sunscreen I'm reviewing today are broad spectrum sunscreen or sunstick. That is, they have a SPF of 30 or more, so they all are really good. But I'm just giving my personal opinion on each one of them. Coming to the general overview of this product, it has a SPF of 50 and has 20 gram of product in the price range of 599, which is close to 600 pros are that it does not give any faulty smell i do not like any kind of smell on my sunscreen and the second pros is that it is travel friendly you can put it on your bag and go about your day and third thing is that the price is pretty good for the product that it gives cons are it was not gliding easily on my face when i first applied it but in my second and third attempt it was gliding easily and the second thing is that the product does not comes out or rolls out so easily. Third con is that it has only 20 gram of product which is very less. Overall, it is a really good sunstick available in the Indian market and if I had to rate it, I would rate it around like 7 to 8. Also, I tried this sunstick over my makeup. I was doing the strawberry makeup look this day and I did some freckles too. And let me tell you, it did not budge any of my freckles which was quite impressive. The second sunstick on the line is from Earth Rhythm. It is their invisible sunstick. And to give a general overview, it has a SPF of 60 and it is enriched with antioxidants and it gives UVA and UVB protection. It has 40 gram of product for the price of 800. Pros are that it glides so easily on my skin and it is truly invisible because it gives very smooth and transparent coverage which I really like. And for the cons, I would say that it was giving a bit oily feeling but it was not too noticeable so it was okay and the second thing for the con is that it was a bit large in size so it will be difficult to adjust the product in all of your bags although i do think that this is a really good sunstick available in the market and i would rate it 9 out of 10 this third sunstick is a Korean sunstick and it is not on the list just because I bought it from a local store in Itanagar and I'm not sure if it is available in the website but if you happen to see this product anywhere near your store or anywhere just grab it because it is a really good product and it is a Korean product so Koreans know what they are doing with their skincare everyone knows it so however i'm not aware of the spf in this one because everything was in korean and i could not read it but texture and feel wise it was a bit similar to earth rhythm ones however the earth rhythm one was a bit oily but this one was like really good third one in the list of sunscreen is this innisfree 
Donut No Sebum Sunscreen. It is a Korean sunscreen and to give a general overview of the product, it has a SPF of 50 plus and has 50 ml of product for the price range of 1100 i know it is a bit expensive but you know it is a korean product and their skin cares are really good and expensive for the pros i would say that it is not greasy or not sticky at all and a little goes a long way plus it gives a fairer complexion if you're into that for the cons obviously it is pricey it is 1100 so it is on the expensive range and the second thing is that it leaves white cast i wouldn't say white cast exactly but it makes your skin a bit fairer which is why i said a little goes a long way overall i would rate this one 9 out of 10. the fourth sunscreen is from dr sates it is for indian skin it has ceramide vitamin c hyaluronic acid plus mineral and organic filters so many things in this one sunscreen it protects against uva uvv rays and it has the spf of 50 50 gram of quantity for the price of 500 this is for all skin types the pros are one it is dermatologist formulated which the packaging claims itself so and the second one is that i love that it explains how to layer the product and how to use correctly in the packaging itself everything so clearly and the third thing uh, about this product in pros is that it is lightweight it leaves no white cast transparent and it is not greasy at all i honestly have only good thing to talk about this product the price is just 500 and it gives 50 gram of product quantity which is a fair deal i think in my opinion so it is a really good one in the market and i would rate this nine half out of ten the last one in our list of top five sunscreen is this minimalist one it has niacinamide vitamin b5 vitamin f and it is for all skin types again it has spf of 50 and it gives 50 gram of product for the price range of just 399 for the cone and it is a big one is that if after applying your moisturizer and doing your skincare routine if you apply this sunscreen it kind of leaves residue the product starts to come off it does not give a very clean look that way so i don't know why it does that if you apply it on its own it won't do that but after doing all your skincare routine it does leaves the residue which i do not like so just because of that reason i'm giving this 6 out of 10 Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about the importance of sunscreen in a skincare routine and I also hope that you like my recommendations and to continue your journey towards a radiant and healthy looking skin make sure to click the video somewhere on the end screen right now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!